Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does take what does resonate, if it does not leave what does not resonate as that may be meant for someone else. I have my Star Dragons cards here and if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, please feel free to check out the links down below. So we're going to look at what you may be struggling with. So what is Capricorn struggling with? What is Capricorn struggling with? Let's see. Actually, distraction. Woo! Releasing your anger. Oh, that's a good one. Releasing your anger. Nothing worse than pent up anger, right? Pent up frustration. Um, that can start giving you headaches. It could start giving you neck aches. It could start giving you back aches. Um, it will churn your stomach around, right? Food doesn't taste the same. Then you start lashing out at other people about other things that really have nothing to do with the main thing. What do you need to focus on? Grief, accepting loss. Okay. And what's coming in for Capricorn? We have the self gathering your power. Definitely pulling yourself back together. All right, so struggling with releasing your anger. And I think we all have that. I think we've all had times in our lives where we've struggled with releasing that anger. So clarification for Capricorn, what are they angry about? What is Capricorn? Oops. Okay. So I'm not going to take all of that, but I'm going to just do the cards that I saw. All right, what else is Capricorn angry at? Okay. I feel like it's people that are around you um, that I feel like you believed in, that you had hope in, that you had put a lot of energy and effort into we have the world card we have the six of wands we have the sun card and we have the three of cups so I kind of feel like it's people that you have had around you I feel like you were really happy about something but something didn't turn out the way that you had wanted it to I kind of feel like it has to do with people that are around you like they disappointed you or they let you down um that sometimes people sh you don't really know who up what person is until like maybe you spend more time with them right and then or you you're around them more and you can see you know do their words match their actions and maybe that's something that happened here I definitely feel like it has to do with a person or people that are around you that you're upset with and you've had this build up of anger it also could be that you thought something was going to happen or develop or it was going to be a certain way. And what you need to focus on is accepting that loss, right? Accepting the loss and releasing your anger. So I feel like you have a lot of pent up frustration around you that you need to let go of. Um, we have the chariot moving forward, letting it go, definitely accepting loss with the king of cups and nine of swords, seeing how it's affecting you. Is it, a, is it giving you anxiety? Is it giving you stress? Is it um, keeping you up at night? Um, I feel like what you need to look at it is all of this energy that you're in, that how do you move forward and let go because you don't want to be caught in this nine of swords energy. Um, sometimes we don't realize that when we don't let these things go, that it, it, it really does affect us in many different ways. You have to look out for yourself, right? Nobody else is going to do that. And you have to look out for yourself and you have to say, am I putting myself in this nine of swords? Do I have anger I have to release? Do I have to accept some loss of a situation? And I need to do that and I need to release it because I need to look out for myself because I don't want this to manifest into something else. Gathering your power. Grieving, going through the process. And then gathering your power and moving forward. I love it. Eight of Wands. Move. Oh. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Prince of Wands. Charging right for that Nine of Cups. I love it. How exciting is that? Um, gathering your power to focus on your Nine of Cups. 
to redirect, right? To process it, work through it, redirect, move it on. That's the past, right? I'm not dealing with that anymore. Um, I will focus on my Nine of Cups, taking those actions to work. I feel like with the Eight of Wands and the Prince of Wands is taking actions to focus on that Nine of Cups and to turn things around for yourself, right? Um, this is what wants to come in for you. It's going to be even bigger and better than it was before, right? This is going to be in the dust. This isn't even going to be on the radar anymore because you've worked through it. You processed it. You're not giving your energy to this situation anymore. Um, and you're moving on and you're gathering your power and your strength, especially with this Nine of Cups. You're manifesting these things in because you're like, I've had enough. I'm not dealing with that. All right, so let's grab a Wisdom Oracle for the reading. I feel like sometimes you just have to take a hard look and say, okay, do I need to release anger? Do I need to accept loss? And how do I gather my power? Unfinished Symphony. Symphony. I feel like it's getting back to your Nine of Cups. I feel like you kind of got pulled away from that um, because you've been in this energy here. Um, we have loyal heart being um, being loyal to yourself and going after your nine of cups and not letting anything get in the way. I feel that's very important. And then we have clean it up. What do you have to clean up? You have to clean up your anger. You have to clean up your grief. You have to clean up this nine of swords. And it's time to move on. Right? Don't let this affect you anymore. You are in control of letting this affect you. Right? If you let it affect you, if you want to give your power to this situation, that's up to you. If you want to take your power and move on from this, that's up to you. If you want to gather your own power, that's up to you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay positive, and I will see you next time.